Astrid is very irritated right now. Oh my god, and Lance just walked in here too. <laughs> Lance just walked in and he's taking a selfie while they're arguing behind him. <laughs> Hello my little rainbows and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 Dynasty. In the last episode of Dynasty, we saw that Harley's father, Ruben, showed up at the Golding Estate and demanded to see Harley. He wanted to reveal himself to her because Harley's mother, Victoria, didn't pay him the money that he demanded. But Victoria and her husband, Grayson, they ended up kicking Ruben out and told him not to come back. And then we also found out that Harley is pregnant and she is a teenager, so I was not expecting this at all but she is pregnant so in this episode I know that we said we were going to do a business dinner for Grayson and his clients but we are actually going to do a birthday party for Astrid and for Alistair so they are twins and they're going to be turning into young adults so we're gonna have a big birthday party for them and then we're also going to see what's going on with Harley and her pregnancy and if she's going to tell the father so we might find out the father in this episode and then we are also going to start applying to university and I'm so excited to do that so if you're looking forward to this episode hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and let's go ahead and play the sims 4 dynasty All right, so we're at the Golding Estate. So the reason I decided to do a birthday party instead was because I figured we would be inviting the same people anyway. Plus Alistair and Astrid, they needed to be young adults to be able to apply to university. So that's why we're gonna be doing that. So I am going to go ahead, as you can see, I have already decorated for the birthday party. I'm super excited. This is where we have usually been having our parties. And then I did all of these cool colored lights. So it looks really awesome. So I am going going to go ahead and I'm gonna have Grayson plan the birthday party because he knows the most people. So I am going to go through the guest list with you guys so you can see who I am inviting. All right, so birthday sims are Alistair and Astrid. As you can see, Alistair and his father do not have a very good relationship still, so that's still a thing. But we are, okay, so yeah, we're gonna have obviously everybody in our house. And the, oh shoot, oh, I need to have, so I deleted some custom content, so. I thought I fixed everybody, but it doesn't look like I did. So I need to give her her hair back, but so we are going to invite them. This is Lance Alexander. So this is Astrid's ex-boyfriend, and I'm pretty sure that is who Harley's baby's father is. So we're going to have Harley talk to Lance during the party, so that should be really interesting. So we're also going to invite the Casanovas and then the Krishna. So this is Devinder Krishna. He has had a huge crush on Astrid since they were kids, which is actually really cute. Maybe they'll get to talk a little bit more in this episode. We'll get to see. Um, so then the Lavoisier, so this is Melody. This is Astrid's one of her best friends. We're not inviting Ruben. That is Harley's father. It's definitely not inviting him. We are inviting the Ripleys. Alexis is Astrid's best friend, another one of her best friends. And then Talon Ripley is also really close with Grayson as well. So their whole family. And then this is his new wife, Demi. So we're not inviting, I'm not going to invite any toddlers because I don't think we need to invite invite toddlers. So we're also going to invite the Trinidad, Trinid, oh, Tri Tridantios. I thought it was Trinidados for some reason, but it is not. So this was actually a family that one of our viewers made. So we are going to be inviting them because I don't think, should we be inviting kids? Uh, why? We can invite kids. I might actually age up a lyric at this party too. I might age her up and do a teenager at this party. So we'll go ahead and do that. Alexis and Melody are already young adults, so we don't need to do a birthday party for them. And then it also looks like Jonah's hair is missing, so I need to add his hair back too. But this is Jonah's father, and then Jonah's father, or Jonah's stepmother. We are going to invite them as well, because they are all very important people. All right, so we're gonna be having the birthday party at the Golding Estate. Oh my gosh, oh no, what is going on with this? This has happened before, it must be her hair or something. Oh my gosh, that is seriously so scary looking when it does that. But this is, I don't know why she's feeling embarrassed, but look at her outfit, you guys, it looks awesome. I love this so much. This dress is by MS Sims. I think I put it on there, my Pinterest board too. I think this was actually available. This might be an early access outfit from her Patreon because I am a patron on her Patreon. So it might be an early access outfit, but oh my gosh, she looks awesome. And the jewelry looks so good with it. It's just like all gold and it looks so good. And Alistair looks really awesome too. So I hope she doesn't feel embarrassed for very long, but it looks like it's just something from school. I think she can 
actually apply for a scholarship. She doesn't need to apply for a scholarship because they have so much money. Also in the last episode, I mentioned that she wanted to major in business, but they don't have a business major, which I find very weird because I remember when I was in college, everybody, like any random person I asked was a business major. Just that seemed to be the most popular. So I was really surprised that they didn't have a major in business. So I have to figure out what she's to major in now because that's kind of what she wanted to do. I think engineering would be a good one. I also think being a lawyer would be a good one and maybe uh, owning her own firm. So I think that would be really cool too. But I mean, she might as well apply for a I don't, she doesn't need to apply for, no, I don't think they need to apply for a scholarship. They're so rich, really. And then this is Harley, and this is her outfit for the evening. I had her wear a dress where she wasn't showing as much, and she's not showing as much. I know she was showing a little bit in the last episode. Okay, Grayson doesn't know that she's pregnant yet, so it should be interesting. And then I think that she is definitely going to use this because Lance's family is so rich, and she's saying that it's Lance's baby. So I think that she's definitely going to use that against him, and and maybe be able to get money for life if it is Lance's baby. So she's gonna be talking to him at this party. But yeah, this is where we're going to be having the party. I love the way this looks, it looks so cool. The lights make such a difference and that's so true in real life too. When I do events at my work, the up lighting with the different colors makes such a big difference and it looks so cool. So I think this looks really awesome. I also love these chairs. I'm pretty sure this comes with a luxury party pack. And then this is Victoria's outfit for the evening too. I try for every event in this series to have everyone wear something different. I love the outfit that I have for her. Hers is also from, from MS Sims and it might also be an early access dress too, but I'll try to put the link in the description if I can find it. We also have Melody and Alexis here too. So these are their outfits. So these, if you have not seen, these are Astrid's best friends. So they are now young adults. They're going to be going to university with Astrid too, or we'll see what university they all end up going to. I think Alexis and Astrid, their main choice is Brightchester. And then for Melody, she's debating on going to Brightchester or to Foxbury. It kind of depends on where her boyfriend goes. I think that has a lot to play in it. So her boyfriend here, he should be here too. So we'll kind of get to see everybody also. So this is Roxy. This is Lance's sister. Astrid and her have kind of talked a little bit. They didn't actually talk much when Lance and Astrid were going out, but they've started to talk a little bit more. So she's an interesting character. We'll get to see her a lot more too. I don't know why, but I had this issue in the last episode of the Royal Family too, but only a few people showed up and then it's taking me forever to get people here. Like I keep having to teleport here too. Like it's already daytime. Pretend it's not daytime, but like I've been trying to get people to come here. I don't know what's going on. There's some sort of glitch happening and I do a lot of events. So I hope this isn't going to be a common thing that happens. So we do need to go ahead and have Astrid and Alistair blow out the candles. I'll have Alistair blow out the candles first because I'm pretty sure he's older by a few minutes and then we're going to have Astrid blow out the candles. So they're going to be turning into young adults and then we're going to get to try this university thing. So I have not really done anything. I've seen a few videos so I don't really know a lot about it but I am really excited to try it out. Okay so Alistair just blew out the candles so he is now turning it to a young adult. So Alistair he is very gregarious and he is an insider and he he is good and he just cares a lot about the world and the environment. He likes to be outside. It's pretty ambitious too, but definitely not as ambitious as Astrid is. I feel like he also might be a vegetarian. I feel like that's something with Alistair. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna do vegetarian because I feel like Alistair is a vegetarian and Astrid is next to blow out the candles. It looks like Grayson has a headache, so that's not good. Okay, she is now turning into a young adult too, you guys, so they can officially apply to university. I don't think that Harley Harley can age up into a young adult until she is not pregnant anymore. So she can't age up while she's pregnant. For Astrid's next trait, I think it's going to be ambitious. We know that she's ambitious. So we are going to have that be her trait. And I also wanted to age up Alexis's sister Lyric. So I think I need to teleport her here because I don't know if she actually came like everybody else, like no one was here. So this is Alexis's sister Lyric. Alexis is, as I said, Astrid's best friend. So she's going to age up into a teenager because her and her sister are 
pretty far apart, but Alexis just turned into a young adult, so I think it's time for Lyric to turn into a teenager. So this is a Lyric. I'll probably change some of her, or I'll definitely change some of her outfits, so I'll have that ready by the next episode. So Harley is now talking to Lance. Harley and Lance, if you guys have seen in the previous episode, Harley had sabotaged Lance and Astrid's relationship, and Lance hated her for that. And in one episode, he even asked her to hang out somewhere, and then he ditched her, so that was pretty rude. So their relationship is really, really low, but they did mess around when she was trying to sabotage him and Astrid's relationship. So now she has to tell her that she's pregnant, you guys. So we have to have her share big news. Harley has just told, oh my gosh, Lance looks so upset. He looks so irritated. Harley has just told him that she is pregnant and he looks like he does not want to be here at all. I feel like he's telling her that she needs to take a paternity test because he doesn't believe that it is his baby because he knows that he's going to be in one, so much trouble with his parents. And then also like this is a huge thing. Like she's probably going to ask him for child support. And he obviously his family is really rich, but like he doesn't want to have to do this. So he doesn't believe that it's his baby right now. And he's making Harley take a paternity test. I do feel like so Alexis was in here. I feel like Alexis heard Harley and Lance and is going to now go tell Astrid about it. Okay, so Alexis has found Astrid and she is telling Astrid what she just heard about Harley and Lance and that Harley is claiming to have Lance's babies or that she's holding Lance's baby. Oh, apparently she's leaving, but that's just what she told Astrid. Okay, so Astrid is feeling really angry right now and she has come in here to find Harley. And now Astrid is just telling Harley that she does not believe that's true. Like she heard what she's saying and what she's claiming and that's not true at all. And she is just being a gold digger because she knows that she can get money out of Lance by doing that. And Astrid is just so irritated because one, Harley was the one who broke up her and Lance and Astrid is just so stubborn and she won't forgive Lance and she thinks that they were actually having a thing, which technically they were. Harley did mess around with them a little bit, but Lance did that after Astrid got mad because she thought they were flirting and then he did that out of spite and then he got mad at Harley because she broke them up, but when, when it's really like his fault too. So it's a huge, huge situation. Astrid is very irritated right now. Oh my God. And Lance just walked in here too. <laughs> Lance just walked in and he's taking a selfie of himself while they're arguing behind him. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Harley just shoved Astrid and Lance is just He's just standing there. He's not even doing anything. They're arguing about him and he's just standing there smiling. So that is what is going on with all of them and that drama. So Harley does have to send some paternity test results to Lance so he can see and so she can prove that it is his baby. So we're going to end this birthday party. That was an eventful party. And we now have Alistair and Astrid. They are young adults, which means that they can apply for a college College. So I'm not even sure if Harley's going to apply to college. We'll just have to see about that. We'll kind of have to see what's going on there. But I do want Astrid and Alistair to apply. So apply to university. I think it does take some time for them to apply. Alistair has applied and now Astrid needs to apply. She needs to stop talking to Victoria. So we'll also have to see if Astrid is going to tell her father about Harley and the fact that she is pregnant. We're going to hear back in the next few days and I guess we'll see if if they get into Foxbury or Brightchester. So while we are waiting for them to hear back from university, I do have us at the Skyfall Lounge. And of course, Astrid and Alexis and Melody are here. They're hanging out in their favorite spot. And then I also have, because we didn't get to see a lot of people at the party because I don't know what's going on, but for some reason, just a lot of people didn't show up. And I hope that's not a thing that's happening. I have to figure out if it is because that also happened in my Royal Family episode. So one of the people that we didn't get to see a lot was the Tridantio family. This is Antonio Tridantio. So he has become a new client. So Antonio does have a son named Nico who's actually here right now. So this is Nico. And then he also has a wife named Roxana. And Grayson has just been trying to get close to the family and kind of build their trust and, and make sure that Antonio trusts him to do business with him. This is actually his wife too. So this is Roxana. We do also have Alistair and Astrid here. Grayson has just asked them to come that way that he can meet the entire family because I think he's really like Antonio's a really big family guy. This is also the first time that Astrid is meeting their son Nico. Oh my gosh and then Astrid just scooted over next to him. Maybe they're into each other. Maybe they like each other. That would be very very interesting actually if that were a 
thing. So I was going to say that I think that Nico was super interested in Astrid, but the way that Astrid just like kind of scooted into him, it kind of makes me think that she might be interested in Nico too. Astrid's never really been in serious relationships just because she's never been interested, but her relationship with Lance was the most serious relationship that she had ever really had. And of course she kind of got hurt with that. So I'm wondering if maybe she'd be interested in Nico. Oh no. Oh, is Lance calling Astrid? Oh wait. Oh, I totally missed that. So it looks like Lance is still trying to talk to Astrid. He's still trying. Even after the whole thing that happened with Harley, he's still trying to talk to her. Okay guys, so Alistair just got his acceptance letter. So it looks like he got accepted into both colleges, which is really awesome. Okay, so I have to go to enroll in a university. I think I'm going to have Alistair enroll into the University of Brightchester because I saw that one of the distinguished degrees there is art history, which I feel like suits him really well. But let's go ahead and check out the organization stuff. I don't know if you guys have to read any of this. I'm assuming that a lot of you guys have either played this on your own or seen other YouTubers play this, so I'm not sure. But I know that there's different uh, organizations for each of the schools. They do have an art society at the University of Brightchester, which I feel like fits him very well too. So why don't we go ahead and enroll there? So yeah, so a distinguished degree. And I see uh, that communications is on here too. And I feel like Astrid might actually end up majoring in communications. We can choose class load. So if we do three, he can take an elective class, which is really cool. He might be interested in like a cooking class or something like that. So let's enroll him in a cooking class as an elective. But I'm also going to have Astrid also enroll. Should they live in the same housing? I think that Alexis too got into Brightchester and I think that she would want to live in the same housing as them too. I think we might do off campus housing. I did want to see what it would be like though to live in the university housing, but they're so rich you guys. I don't think that they're going to need to live in university housing. So let's go have a move off campus. All right, so Astrid is going to check her application status. So she got accepted into both of the universities as well, which I kind of figured because they both have amazing grades. So we are going to now have her enroll in a university. All right, so she is picking the University of Brightchester. She's majoring in communications, which is a distinguished degree. So this is the closest thing I can think of to business and law and all that. And I'm pretty sure one of the careers that they added was a law career. So I don't know why that's not a major. That seems very weird to me, but I'm just going to have her enroll in four classes. So, ooh, communication basics, writing the truth. That's so interesting. Oh, a lot of journalism stuff. Oh, she'd be a great journalist. Okay, so she's moving off campus and then she is going to be paying with the household funds. And then she is going to be moving in with Alistair, her brother. And then I'm also going to have Alexis move in there as well. So we'll get to see in the next episode I'll have her go ahead and move in. But in the next episode, we are going to see all of the other characters that are going to university and that we're going to get to see a lot too. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So we're actually gonna go ahead and end this episode here. But in the next episode, we're gonna go get into the university gameplay, which I'm so excited to do because I have not played any of this yet. And I'm excited to check it out because I've heard great things about this expansion pack. So I'm very excited to see what we get to do and all the activities. And also we'll get to see all of the characters from our series. We'll get to see who's going to college with Astrid and Alistair. You guys will have to let me know in the comments below what you think about Harley because she'll probably be a young adult by the next episode and she'll have had her baby. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!